Who wants to go see some gators go sing offerings? Woo! Woo! Come on! We have all kinds of creepy crawly fun to show you today. First up, we have our cemetery. Bigger than ever. You'll notice a lot of graves back here. They all belong to her husbands, 12 of them. She's looking for number 13. I don't know if any of you eligible bachelors might be interested or you have any friends or whatnot, but you know, she's not gonna swipe to the left. Like, go ahead, she likes you. You all know him, and if you don't, you will eventually. Yeah. Look at him in all his glory. Now, guests that come here will have to play a game of chance against the Grim Reaper. That's what happens. So you play a game for your immortal soul if you lose. But if you win, you get candy. So that's good, right? Yeah. The Teller! of terrible fortunes, or terrible teller of fortunes. I get confused. Well, it depends on you. Like yeah, exactly. Do you have a fortune for them today? Well, I need to pick a card. Pick a card. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not a tarot deck. What is that? That's Uno. That's Uno. Yeah. What happened to your tarot deck? The kids took it out of my bag. They took everything. Well, make two. Go ahead. Yes, yeah, it's for the press. Just okay. make it work. Go okay. ahead. Oh, you're angry. Oh, it's a red card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, well, there you go. I'm never wrong. Oh, wow. She's good. She's good. Uh, Betty is an assistant manager in training from Bubba's Bugs Be Gone. She transferred here from Delaware, and uh, she didn't realize how big the bugs get here in Florida. So she's kind of got her work cut out for her. But you're doing great, Betty. Really nice. So, yeah, you go. You got it. What? what, what? Okay. You got one on me? There you go. Thanks. Okay. It's a family show. This way, everyone. <laughs> Yeah, Jackson, you're doing great, Betty. Betty, you better swat them. So every year, Gatorland puts out cryptids, and now we have even more than ever. And we have our own cryptozoologist, Bubba. Hey, everybody, good morning. And How's it going? Friend, the Skunk Ape. Hey, Skunk Ape. Hey. There you go. Right there you go. He, so, he's not awake yet. So here's what's happening. <laughs> Bubba had a delivery of cryptids sent to him. Jersey Devil, Chupacabra, Mothman, and they all escaped. They're somewhere around the Jungle Crocs area and guests that come here have to find them. So if you can locate them, take a photo of them, and come back and show Bubba, then you get to become a cryptozoologist. And you get your own cryptozoologist certificate. Swamp Ghosts Monster Museum. Here, we'll learn about classic monsters, but not the movie versions. We're talking about the literature that started it all, the folklore that spawned everyone's imagination this way. Is that comfortable? No? Good. It's not meant to be claustrophobic or anything. Does it look like a purple mattress? <laughs> no. But, in 1998, a lost book was found, and it was discovered that Louisa May Alcott who wrote Little Women, actually wrote the first cursed mummy story. It was called The Mummy's Curse or Lost in a Pyramid. We have uh, Thomas Edison's Frankenstein is playing. So everyone thinks that Universal Pictures, the mortal classic, was the first Frankenstein story. But little do they know that Thomas Edison actually made the first Frankenstein film. Yes. Thank you. 
going to be great fun weekends for the rest of the month here. I, probably one of the only, but it's certainly the best daytime activity people can do with their kids uh, for the month of October and Halloween and Oktoberfest. So. What's that mean?